please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The vision of Doral Academy Charter Middle High School is to set the standard for outstanding student achievement while providing a safe and nurturing academic environment. Good morning, Good morning Firebirds. Firebirds. I'm Melissa Reese. And I'm Priscilla Custodio. Today is Monday, April 27th. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Firebird TV Middle, Middle School. start manufacturing coronavirus vaccines before they're fully tested. The CEO of Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations, Richard Hatchett, say that this could help save many lives. CEPI is a nonprofit organization formed to speed the development of vaccines. This plan could cut time without cutting corners or sacrificing efficiency or safety, Hatchett said. The process for vaccine development can usually take years, and because of the quick growing virus, we don't have that much time. In local news, Miami Mayor hosted a large food distribution at Mana Convention Center. Francis Suarez and volunteers helped transform a convention center into a major food distribution site to hold one of South Florida's largest food donations since the COVID-19 shutdown. Suarez partnered with Mr. Green's Produce and delivered thousands of fresh produce to city residents. 175,000 pounds of food were distributed to over 5,000 people. With over 10,000 boxes of meals given out, this is not only one of the biggest food distributions in South Florida, but one of the best organized with four lines. It was a great relief to many struggling and unemployed families. Many people have had to adapt to different ways of exercising because of the new virus. Here's Kansas Imama with this story. Due to quarantine, many athletes have been exercising at home. Here's how different sports have adapted to this new way of living. Ways of training for a sport have definitely changed over the course of this pandemic. Many athletes are now using the platform Zoom to see their teammates and coaches and to train. Even though it is not the same as seeing their team face to face, these athletes still train and do exercises to prepare for their upcoming competition season. So what changed for me since I'm a swimmer is that I can't practice at the pool anymore. And since I don't have a pool in my house, I've been having to find find different ways to practice and still work out. So what I'm doing is that my coach is giving like Zoom practices and we all work out together. And I do some running and I do like ab workouts and stuff. But I just hope that when everything is over and we're gonna go back to swimming and everything will be fine. Many people have also started to exercise during this quarantine. Platforms such as YouTube and TikTok show free workout plans for everyone stuck at home. On TikTok, app Blog Relates shows different exercises and workouts for each part of your body. She is also very motivating and uplifting throughout each exercise. On YouTube, Chloe Ting has many challenges and good workouts for any age or level. She explains how each position and exercise helps your muscles and is very upbeat and stimulating. Signing off for Firebird TV, I'm Kenza's and Mama. Here's your daily announcements. Stay updated on any news through your Miami Dade portal. SGA and SCA interviews will be held through Zoom on April 30th and May 1st. Firebirds, remember that there is middle school math interventions Mondays and Thursdays on Zoom. Online learning will continue for the rest of the year through Zoom and Collegia. Firebirds, remember to stay safe and practice social distancing. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching Firebird TV. TV.